In today's video, we'll be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method. If you are new to this channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. Alright guys, so I want to solve this simultaneous equation right here using the substitution method, alright? But before we get into that, I want to know why do you think they call these types of equations simultaneous equations? Let me know the answer to that in the comment section below, alright? Now what we can do, we are going to solve this thing using the substitution method, alright? What I'm going to do first, I'm going to call equation, the top equation, equation 1. I'm going to call the second equation, equation 2. Alright? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to transpose equation 1 for x. Alright? So here we have equation 1. We have x minus y is equal to 1. And I'm going to transpose this thing for x, which means I want x on one side of the equal sign by itself. Alright? So I'm going to have x. Now I want to get rid of this minus y to get rid of minus y. I need to add y and remember whatever we do to one side we are required to do the same thing on the other side so i must add y over here as well minus y plus y these two things will cancel out and i'll be left with x is equal to one plus y all right so in other words x is equal to one plus y all right so that's what we got now, the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to substitute this that I got for x, which is 1 plus y, into equation 2, all right? So, here we have equation 2, which is x plus y is equal to 5, all right? Now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace x with 1 plus y because x is equal to 1 plus y. So, wherever I have x, I'm going to replace the x with 1 plus y, all right? So I'm replacing x here with 1 plus y. Still have this plus y right here is equal to 5. All right. Now let's see what we can do now. We can go ahead and group like terms. Well, well, they are already grouped. So what we can do, we can say y plus y. That will give us 2y is equal to 5. And what we can now do is to minus 1 from both sides to get rid of this 1 right here. So I can minus 1 here. Still have the plus 2y is equal to 5. But if I minus 1 over here, I'm required to minus 1 over here as well. So 1 minus 1, these two things pretty much cancel out. I'm left with 2y is equal to 5 minus 1, which is 4. All right. And uh, how can we obtain the value of y? No, we can simply divide both sides by 2. All right. So we can divide both sides by 2 here. 2 will cancel 2, and we're left with y is equal to 4 divided by 2, that's 2. So therefore, the value of y would have been 2 right here. Now, what we want to know is the value of x, all right? Now, we can obtain our x value by simply substituting the value of y, which is 2, into either equation 1 or equation 2, and then transpose for x, all right? To obtain the value of x, all right? But I'm going to use equation 1. Of course, you can try 2 as well and see if it works out. But I'm going to use equation 1. So remember this, x minus y is equal to 1. So that's what I'll be using here. So x minus y is equal to 1. All right? So remember, we know that y is 2. So wherever I have y, I'm going to replace the y with 2. So I'll have x minus 2 is equal to 1. All right, and as mentioned before, we can simply transpose for x right here. So I can get rid of this negative 2 by simply adding 2 over here. And whatever I do to one side, I'm required to do the same thing to the other side. So I must add 2 over here as well. So minus 2 plus 2, these things pretty much cancel out. And I'm left with x is equal to 1 plus 2, which is 3. All right, 
So the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 2. So this is pretty much how we treat with solving a simultaneous equation using the substitution method. All right. If you guys want me to solve more questions like these, you can email those questions to the channel email, which is chrismatsacademy at gmail.com that you're currently seeing on screen. All right. And it doesn't have to be questions that relate to simultaneous equation. Whatever question you have related to math, of course, you can send those to the channel email and we can see how best we can help you guys out. Alright, so that's where we'll be ending today's video, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet done it, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. As always, thanks for watching.